The advanced applique tool can be used in conjunction with the open object tool to create more complicated applique designs. For instance, you may want to add detail lines that pass through or on top of an applique object. You also may want to create an applique with a stitch other than satin or blanket. Advanced applique can do this. Objects are created first before advanced applique is applied. You must digitize the background objects first and then work toward the foreground. You would digitize the back wings of the dragonfly before the upper wings, and then the body of the dragonfly would be digitized. We're going to select the Open Object tool and a pattern run. Click on Select, and this particular pattern run is in the Home Deck category. I'll click OK and click OK again. And I can choose my color as well. Now remember that pattern runs are affected by the direction they are digitized. I'll be digitizing clockwise around the wings. The same principles apply for digitizing. Left clicks to form points, right clicks to form curves. I'll then press Enter. I'll next, digitize this wing, again going clockwise. I'm ending with a left click there and pressing Enter. And then the upper wing. A left click and then an Enter. And then we'll go around the final wing. Next, we'll do the antenna. So I want to make sure and have nothing selected. I'll still use the open object tool. I'm going to select a back stitch and my color and digitize along the antenna and press enter. And then enter. For the body of the dragonfly, we're going to use the closed object tool because it's going to go all around the body. I'm going to choose a stem stitch for this, and I'll choose my color. And I want to go around now the dragonfly. I'm going to use clicks that are closer together because I have tight curves to go around the dragonfly. When I get close to finishing the shape, I'll press Enter. Press Escape and do any reshaping. It is important that you have a slight overlap with all the stitches that come together. I'm going to hide the image by clicking on Bitmap. I will select everything using Control A on the keyboard and click on Advanced Applique. Now you'll notice that there is a white netting in all the wings of the dragonfly except for this one. And this is happening because there's not sufficient overlap. So I'll click on Recover Your Original Embroidery Objects and then select that part of the wing, click on Reshape, and I'll move the reshape point so that it overlaps with this object. Press Escape, select everything, and apply Advanced Applique again. And this time you'll see netting has been added to the wing. You'll also notice that there was a change in color, and this happens with pattern runs. To make this into an applique, I'll go to Place Fabric and Color in Patches, select the fabric that I want to use, and click on the different parts of the applique. You can select a different color for the body, and then click back, and then click Close. Remember to have Show Applique Fabric activated in order to see the fabric. 
Now, if I want my original colors back, I can go to the Edit Toolbox and click on Break Apart, and I will get my original colors for the applique. You see, I have a placement line, a tack down line, and a cover stitch.